Predator's Gold, the second book in Philip Reeve's Mortal Engines series, resumes the steampunk-inspired adventure in a dystopian future where entire cities move on gargantuan wheels, practicing municipal Darwinism, the larger Predator cities consuming smaller towns for resources. The story follows the protagonists Tom Natsworthy and Hester Shaw, who are now aboard the airship Jenny Hanover, scavenging for profit. Since the destruction of London, they've made a life for themselves in the air, avoiding the tumultuous politics of the ground. Their peaceful existence is shattered when they are attacked by Greenstorm, an anti-tractionist terrorist group, and narrowly escape with the aid of a mysterious pilot who reveals a bounty on their heads. Forced to flee, Tom and Hester seek refuge in the traveling ice city of Anchorage. Governed by the young and naive Margravine Freya Rasmussen, Anchorage is a shadow of its former glory, diminished by plague and bereft of its populace. The city is aiming for the dead continent, America, a land thought to be uninhabited and ripe for settlement. Upon their arrival in Anchorage, Tom and Hester are met with a mixture of intrigue and suspicion. Freya, impressed by Tom's historical knowledge, appoints him as the city's navigator, hoping that his experience will guide them safely to America. Hester, however, is consumed by jealousy over Tom's budding friendship with Freya and feels increasingly isolated amid Anchorage's polite society. Meanwhile, Hester's past returns to haunt her. Dr. Arkengarth, an old enemy, recognizes her involvement in the destruction of London and sways Freya's advisor, the manipulative and ambitious Professor Pennyroyal, to remove Tom and Hester from the city. Pennyroyal, hiding the truth about his exaggerations concerning the wealth of America, pushes for this expulsion to protect his lies and maintain his influence over Freya. Unbeknownst to the inhabitants of Anchorage, a greater threat looms. The city of Archangel, a predator city from the north, has caught wind of Anchorage's journey and sets out in pursuit, eager to consume the smaller city for itself. Amid shifting allegiances and hidden agendas, Hester's insecurities grow, culminating in her abandoning the city and Tom in despair. She is soon captured by scavengers but manages to escape, only to learn of the true danger Anchorage faces from Archangel. Understanding the need to protect her home and reconcile with Tom, she races back to warn them. Tom and Freya, along with the eccentric and talented engineer Call, uncover Pennyroyal's treachery and his role in crippling the city's engines, a sabotage carried out to ensure they never reach America. With a weakened anchorage, Archangel's attack seems imminent and inevitable. As Archangel closes in, the green storm also re-emerges, led by the stalker Fang, and searches for an ancient superweapon they believe is on anchorage. This weapon has the power to change the course of history and bring an end to the era of Traction Cities. The Greenstorm plans to use it against the Tractionists, restoring the Earth to its static, pre-Traction state. Hester returns in time to assist in Anchorage's defense, and in a moment of redemption, Pennyroyal reveals Archangel's existence to Tom and Freya. The city must now prepare for the incoming Predator and the siege that will follow. A battle ensues as Archangel's forces assault Anchorage, but the Ice City's defenders, along with the Greenstorm, manage to repel the attackers, relying on both their cunning and the city's unexpected resilience. During the fight, Freya gains a newfound strength and courage, while Tom proves his loyalty to Hester above all others, dispelling her fears of abandonment. In the aftermath, Hester's actions not only save Anchorage, but also mend her relationship with Tom. Freya, liberated from her naivete, takes on her responsibilities with a new sense of purpose, and the city continues its journey toward the dead continent with renewed hope. Professor Pennyroyal, ever the opportunist, escapes the skirmish and publishes a fantastical and self-glorifying account of his fake adventures in America. His book becomes a bestseller, feeding the dreams of other cities about the fabled green and unspoiled lands across the ocean. Tom and Hester, now reconciled and united more firmly than ever, continue to navigate the dangers of their world aboard the Jenny Hanover. They look forward to new adventures, their love and partnership strengthened by the trials they have endured together, and the profound realization that, no matter the odds, they can always find a way to survive. Predator's Gold elaborates on the themes of love, loyalty, and the search for a place in the world, while highlighting the corrupting influence of power 
and the complex dynamics between individuals and society. Ultimately, it is a tale of young people fighting to shape their destiny in a world that is itself constantly on the move, both literally and figuratively. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.